Hello and welcome to my class. In this class, we will be discussing about polynomials. So here, what I'm going to do is, I will be explaining which algebraic expression is called polynomials. And we will also study all the terms related with polynomials. So that your basic concept is clear. So let's get started. First of all, we'll look at the definition. What is polynomial? An algebraic expression is called a polynomial if the power power of the variable is a whole number let's see power of the variable now whichever variable is involved in algebra usually we use x y z this are usually used for denoting the variables and it has the power has to be whole number you know whole numbers means 1 0 1 2 3 all this natural numbers including 0 okay let's take an example say first one let me write any number, say 5x cubed plus 2 by 3x square minus root 2x minus 7. Now what we have to do is, when you are given any algebraic expression, this is algebraic expression for sure. If you write any number, any number with alphabets, all are algebraic expressions. Now, what we have to do is, we don't have to worry about the numbers here. We will look at the alphabets first. This variables here. These are the variables. X is the variable. I mean here X is the variable. Look at the power. The power here is pos positive integer or whole number. Whole number. Whole number. Whole number. So if it is whole number, then it is a polynomial. So this is a polynomial. So we can say it's a polynomial. Let me take another example. Say we have root two x square minus uh, say any number five x okay so this also if you look at the power of x here also power of x both are whole numbers so it is a polynomial we don't have to worry about these numbers which are in front anyway first of all let me explain this numbers this numbers this two this numbers here this number this number this are any real numbers and they are called constant because the values will never change if 5 is a constant 2 by 3 is a constant minus root 2 is a constant Okay, and minus 7 is the constant. The values will not change. Here, the value of x might change. We can put any value we like in place of x. So, this is called a variable. So, these two terms should be very clear. Constant and variable. Okay, let me take another example. Say, if we have something like this. x cubed minus 2, x to the power minus 2 plus 8. Now, in this case, if I look at the variable x, the power here is whole number, fine. This term is fine. In this case, this power is negative. So, it is not a whole number. Since it is not a whole number, we will say this is not a polynomial. Okay. Then, if I take another example, say we have x to the power 3 by 2 minus 2. Now, this is example you can see again the power of x is not a whole number this is a fraction so this is also not a polynomial so let me give another example say we have x plus uh, say 1 by x so what will happen in this case here the power is positive fine here also the power is positive but the problem is x is in the denominator if it comes to the numerator it 1 by x we know when we take the this number to the denominator, the power, the sign of the power will change. Here it's plus 1. So it will become minus 1 in the numerator. So we have to look at the variable only in the numerator. So in the numerator, the power is negative. So it's not a whole number. This is not a whole number. This is a whole number, but this is not a whole number. So this is also not polynomial. So if I take another example, say you have uh, root x plus 2 okay now here also since the uh, variable is inside root or if you write in exponential form the square root is written as power half so this one also this half is not a whole number so this is also not a polynomial so basically you should understand anything of this form Whenever you come across any number whose power, or uh, the variable's power is negative or fraction or x is in the denominator and when you bring it to the numerator, it becomes negative power or x inside any root. 
and you cannot cancel the root, then you can say that these are not polynomials. Yeah, I've written some examples of polynomials. Let us see one by one why they are all polynomials. Okay, the first, so these are the different terms. How many terms? Let's count. First, learn terms. The word terms should be very clear to you. Terms. Terms, this is one term. When the plus sign comes before that, it's one term. In here, it's another term before the minus sign. Along with the minus sign, this is the third term. Along with this, this is the fourth term, the fifth term. We have five terms here. Anyway, we will check every term. We will look at the value of, uh, well, variable only, not the constant, not the coefficient. I will tell you what is coefficient later. Only in the variable. Here, x power 4. Whole number, whole number, whole number. No need to worry about this number. Don't look at this. This can be any real number. Look at only the variable. Here also whole number. So it's polynomial. We are not, we don't have to worry about this. We have to worry only about the variable. This can be y also. I've written only in terms of x. It can be y, z. Anyway, so here it's x is cubed. x square. This is all whole number. This is also whole number. 3, 2, 1, whole number. So polynomial. 2, 1, polynomial. 1, the polynomial. This one, now this type polynomials. What do you do? This is also a polynomial. Look at the alphabets. Don't worry. We can multiply it out and see what we will get. Supposing we multiply. When we multiply? We will multiply this way. First multiply this. This will become 2x squared. 2x into x is 2x squared. Then plus into minus minus 2 into 2 is 4x. So this, if you look here or there, it's a polynomial. Similarly, you can, this is in the form of a plus b, a minus b. We multiply. It's going to become a square minus b square. Or you can multiply directly also. a plus b, a minus b, we know it's a square minus b square. This will become x square minus 9. So, if you look here or there, it's still a polynomial. This is also polynomial. Here, power is 100, power is 6. Here, this is also a polynomial, power is 1. Now, given this numbers which I have written here, 3, any real number, Whatever number it comes to your mind, just without any alphabet, without any variables, these are also polynomials. All these are all polynomials. Now, these polynomials which I have written here, they, they don't have any variable, but we can easily put a variable here and say x, x to the power 0, because we know x to the power 0 is going to become 1, and 3, one, three into 1 is 1, or 3 into 1 is 3 only. So, it will remain 3. Similarly, I can put x to the power 0 here. It will become a polynomial of degree 0. So, what is the degree? Uh, I'll teach you what is degree later. Let's see first this power. What is the power? 0. 0 is a whole number. Remember, 0 is a whole number. So, it is a polynomial. Here also I can write x to the power 0. So, if you get any number without any variable, that also will be a polynomial. And this type of polynomials, this one, all this, all this are called constant polynomials, constant, because the values will never change, we don't have any variable, so this are constant polynomial, and there I wrote zero polynomial, when you have only zero, when you have only zero, we will call it a zero polynomial, okay, so we understood what you mean by constant polynomial, if you see any number, you say constant polynomial, and zero polynomial, particularly that zero is called a zero polynomial, we will learn more about this when you come to the word degree. Now let's try to understand the word coefficient. This is very again common term used in polynomials. Write the coefficient of supposing in this question. Here if I ask you what is the coefficient of x to the power 4. So here x to the power 4 is here. What is the coefficient if you are asked. What is the coefficient of x to the power 4. So you do like this x to the power 4. What is the number in front. That is called the coefficient. So 5 is the coefficient. If I ask you, what is the coefficient of, say, x cubed? It will be 2 by 3. If I ask you, what is the coefficient of x square? So, if I ask you, what is the coefficient of x square? Leave out x square. You have to take the number here also. It's minus 1 by 2. So, it will be minus 1 by 2, the coefficient of x square in this polynomial. So, coefficient of x square is minus 1 by 2. In this case, coefficient of x is root 2. Coefficient of x square was minus 1 by 2. And this one is called the constant term without any variable, so constant term. So similarly, if I ask you what is the coefficient of x square here, this number will be the coefficient of x square. And if what is the coefficient of x in this polynomial? 
it will be minus 1. Minus 1. What is the constant term? Constant term also is minus 1. So we understood the term coefficient. So coefficient of x means you leave x, whatever is left, it might be something here, this side, both sides, whatever is left covering x, that will be the coefficient. Say we have a number like this. And if I ask you what is the coefficient of x, so just don't look at x, whatever is left, that will be called coefficient. I hope the word coefficient is clear. Now let's come to the next term that is degree. Now degree is very important again. Degree means highest power of the variable. Here yeah, in this case, highest power of x, I'll write x. It can be y also, any variable. So, so let's see the degree of all this. You check one by one. What is the highest power here? 4, 3, 2, 1. The highest power is 4. So degree will be 4. So you will say degree 4, this one. You will write degree of the polynomial is 4. Degree 4 polynomial. This one is degree 3. Highest power is 3. This one highest power is 2. Degree 2. This degree 1. Now in this one, you cannot check here. You have to multiply first and then check. Here degree 2. Highest power is 2. Degree 2. And this one, you cannot check here. You have to multiply. If you have anything, you have to you need to multiply. In order to check degree, first of all, you have to multiply and simplify. Then only check the degree. The degree is 2. Highest power is 2. Here, we have only one power. That is 100. So degree 100. This is degree 6. Now in this case, both are same. So degree 1. And if we don't have any x, as I already told you, we can put x to the power 0 here. So degree 0. So degree 0 here. We can we just put x to the power 0. Degree 0. Here x to the power 0. Because x to the power 0 makes 1. So 3 into 1 will be 3. So here no degree means you say degree. So all constant polynomial has degree 0. Remember that. Degree 0. The... Uh, constant polynomials except that zero polynomial zero polynomial we cannot say any we don't know zero into anything is zero so for zero polynomial degree is not defined for zero polynomial degree is we'll write is not defined i'm writing n d they are not defined for zero polynomial degree is not defined for constant polynomial degree is zero please keep that in mind if you're asked what is the degree of constant polynomial any constant polynomial except zero the degree will be zero but for zero polynomial, if the constant is zero, then zero polynomial, the degree is not defined. So we understood these three terms, four terms. Degree, remember, highest power. Okay, now we will come to this four, which are based on degrees. Now, if the degree is one, degree one, degree one polynomial are called linear polynomial. What are linear polynomials? The polynomials have been degree 1. Or degree 1 polynomials are called linear polynomials. Let's see which one is linear here. So this is not linear. Degree 1, let's look at degree 1. This is degree 1 linear. So we have only one polynomial out of all this which are, uh, which is linear. This is linear. You know, which one is linear from here? This one is linear. Not this one. You cannot see the degree here. Oh, here also it's linear, degree 1. Degree 1. So because this will be, will be adding it up, it will become 5x. Degree 1. Now, in some cases, okay, let's see. No more degree 1. So, if come to quadratic, quadratic polynomial means degree 2 polynomials are called quadratic polynomials. Remember, quadratic polynomials are degree 2. Now, let's see which one has degree 2. They have degree 4, degree 3, degree 2. This is quadratic. This polynomial will be quadratic polynomial. Then, uh, this one is linear. This one is degree 2. So, this also will be quadratic polynomial. Quadratic polynomial. This one also is quadratic polynomial, degree 2. After multiplying, it becomes 2 power. Highest power is 2, degree 2. All degree 2 polynomials are quadratic polynomials. Now, we don't have any more degree 2. So let's come to cubic polynomial. Now cubic polynomial, this all degree 3 polynomials are called cubic polynomials. Which one is degree 3? Highest power should be 3. So this one is cubic. You can see this highest power is 3. 
So this is a cubic polynomial. This polynomial is a cubic polynomial because its highest power is 3, that means it is degree 3. So similarly, biquadratic, biquadratic polynomial will be a degree 4 polynomial. Degree 4 polynomial, which one is degree 4 here? This one is degree 4. So there's only one which has degree 4. So this is the only polynomial which is degree 4. And degree 4 polynomials are called biquadratic polynomials. So this is a biquadratic polynomial. Now coming to the next three terms, this three terms, this monomial, binomial, trinomial. Now this this four were based on degrees. Okay. And if you have more than four, supposing the highest power is five, then we'll say a polynomial degree five. We'll not, we don't use any other term. Then if you have power six, this will be like this. We'll say it's a polynomial of degree six. Okay. If you have hundred, so it's a polynomial of degree hundred. Only for the first four, we give names linear, quadratic, cubic, bicuadratic. Now monomial. Now monomial based on terms. This are based on terms. This three. They are based on how many terms we have. If you have one term, it's polynomial having one term. You see, what is a monomial? Definition. Polynomial, any polynomial having one term will be called a monomial. Let's see any polynomial. This are monomial. See, this is mon monomial because it has only one term. This one also one term, monomial. This, this one, see, here though I have written two terms, but it ad adds up and becomes one. So, this will not, this will be monomial also. This one is not a monomial, you cannot add this to or subtract. You cannot, this are all monomial having one one term. So all this having one one term, this are all from here, all the sums here having one one term. This are all monomials and binomials having two terms. So if you have binomial is a polynomial having only two terms. So which one has two terms? So this one, this is a binomial. One, two terms, binomial. So this one also after multiplying, it became two terms, binomial. This one, after multiplying, it became x square minus 9. How many terms? Count, one, two terms, so binomial. So that's all, these are the binomials. So we have how many binomials? This is a binomial, this is a binomial, this is also a binomial. Now trinomial. Trinomial means having three terms. So which... Whichever polynomial will have three terms, like this one, one, two, three terms, will be trinomial. Any more trinomials here? This is not trinomial because we have one, two, three, four, not trinomial, not trinomial. So we don't have any more trinomial. I've written only one trinomial here, one, two, three. So, so this monomial, binomial, trinomial depends on how many terms. Mono means one term, bi means two terms, tri means three terms. And if you have four terms, we'll just say polynomial having four terms or five terms. Like one, two, three, four, five. This is a polynomial having five terms. We'll not give any name for that. So this monomial, binomial, trinomial are based on how many terms we have. And linear, quadratic, cubic, biquadratic, these are based on the degree. Now let us try to understand what is meant by zero of a polynomial, which is again very common. Okay, like we will be doing numericals based on finding the zeros of polynomial. Now first we will try to understand what is zero of a polynomial. Okay, a real number a, this a will be called zero of a polynomial px. This is the name px, px, gx. This is name of polynomial. Okay, if p of a equals to zero. Now, to understand this, I'll give you an example. Let's take one polynomial, say Px. Uh, name of the polynomial is Px. We can write any number, say x minus 3. It's a simple polynomial. Now, don't worry about this. P, P is the name, x is the variable. Supposing if I have another g, say the variable is y. So, g will be the name of the polynomial and y will be the variable. Say I'll take y square minus 4. So, just... In this way, you can have px, gx, qx. So these are just name and this one is the variable. x is the variable. If you use y, you will write y here. If you use z, you will write z. Anyway, name. Now, if I put any number in place of x, say x is a variable, I can change its value. Supposing I'm putting 0 or 1. First. So if I put 1, so 1 min in place of x, I'm putting 1, 1 minus 3 is minus 2. 
then I can put any number, say 0. I can put, if I put 0 here, wherever x will come, so x will become 0 now. 0 minus 3 equals to minus 3. In this way, we can keep on changing numbers. Uh, you can take any number you like, say 2. If I put 2 here, in place of x, so you look from here, minus then 3. This variable first became 1, then 0, then 2 now. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So, this numbers, whatever we get, these are called the values of the polynomial at different points. So, this value, this minus 2 is a value of the polynomial at x equals to 1. This minus 3 is the value of the polynomial at x equals to 0. This minus 1 here is the value of the polynomial at x equals to 2. These are called values. Now, if we can take another number, say if I put 3 here, 3 minus 3 is becoming 0. This also is another value. Now, this value, concentrate here now. This value 0, when did we get 0? When we put x as 3. We got 0 here when we put x equals to 3. So, p3 became 0. So, this number 3, this number is called the 0 of the polynomial. Because when we substituted 3, the answer to this polynomial or the value of the polynomial became 0. So, remember, whatever... Yeah, any real number a, in this case a is 3, a is called a 0 if p of a becomes 0. Here p3 is 0, so 3 is the 0 of the, this polynomial. Let's take another example. So in this case, we can have different values. So here if I put, supposing if I put 2, if I put 2, so what will it become? 2 square minus 4, which is 4 minus 4 equal to 0. So Instead of y, if I put 2, then we are getting 0. That means this 2 will be called 0 of the polynomial. We can also put minus 2. If I put minus 2, supposing, how much we are getting? 4 minus square becomes plus. 2 square is 4. 4 minus 4 also is 0. So here we have two zeros we are getting. 2 and minus 2. This 2 and minus 2 will be called zeros of that polynomial. What is the name of this polynomial here given? Zero y. Here, three will be called. Three is the zero of this polynomial p x. So remember, zero of a polynomial means it is that number by substituting that number in place of x, the result should come up to be zero. So this is not the way to calculate 0, but this is just an example to understand what you mean by 0. 0 will be the value of x for which the polynomial becomes 0. Okay, let me now take some questions to understand whatever we have learned so far. The first question here is, which of the following is a polynomial? Now remember, the power of the variable should be whole number, non-negative integers. So this one is x is already inside remember see x is inside the root so the power is not here x even though it's inside power is one but when it's inside root so the power will become half so this is not a polynomial x is inside root not polynomial so here x is in the denominator if it comes to the numerator it will become like this it will become like this if you bring this x cube there it will be x to the power minus three so again not polynomial so this is not polynomial now coming back, coming here, this part, this term is fine, x power 5, whole number, fine, but this term, we can see the power of x is fraction, not whole number, so not polynomial, so this is the only one which is polynomial, 0 is a 0 polynomial, remember, this is polynomial, now coming to the next question, write the coefficient of x square in this polynomial, you have to see what is the coefficient of x square. So find out the term which has x squared. This is not x squared term. This one is x squared term. So x squared is here. So leave x squared and write everything else. So we have minus 2 in front and also k. This k is there. So it will be the answer will be minus 2k. You have to leave only x squared and whatever is left, everything should come. That will be the coefficient of x squared. So you'll write the coefficient of x squared in this is minus 2k. Okay. Minus sign also is important. Keep that in mind. Write the degree. What is the meaning of degree? Highest power. Now we will look for highest power. Remember, degree means highest power. I've already done that. 
highest power. So where is the highest power here? This power of the highest power of the variable. So x highest, what is the power here? 3, 5, 4. Among all this, which one is the highest? This one is the highest. Oh, sorry, not this one. This is the highest here. This is the highest. 3, 5, and 4. This is the highest. So the, you will write degree of the polynomial is 4. Or, de, or degree is 5. Degree is 5. Here, write the degree of the polynomial. Now, in this number, before, cannot write directly degree 3. We have to first multiply because there is multiplication. So, if you multiply this 2, it is going to become x to the power 4. x into x cube is x to the power 4. x into 1 will be x. Now, you check what is the degree. Highest power is 4. So, you will say degree 4. What is the degree? The degree, is, degree of this polynomial is 4. Because after multiplying, you get 4. Now, what is the degree of a quadratic polynomial? What is the degree of a quadratic polynomial? So, what is the degree of a quadratic polynomial? We know the degree of a quadratic polynomial is 2. If it is biquadratic, the degree will be 4. So, what is the degree of a quadratic polynomial? Degree is 2. A biquadratic polynomial would have been 4. Anyway, how many zeros can a cubic polynomial have? Now, cubic polynomial, we know it's a degree 3 polynomial. Degree 3 polynomial. So, it can have 3 zeros at the most. You'll write 3 zeros at the most. You should write at the most. Means maximum 3 zeros. Not more. That means it can have less than 3, but not more than 3. So, how many zeros can a cubic polynomial have? Right, a cubic polynomial can have three zeros at the most. Now, give an example of a monomial of degree 100. Monomial, we understand. Monomial means what? How many terms? One. There should be only one term. And the degree should be 100. Degree means highest power should be 100. So, you can write anything you like. Uh, say, for example, I can write any number in front. And x to the power 100. This can be any number. 5. But this power should be 100. One term. There should be only one term. Because I said monomial. And the degree of highest power of x should be 100. So here, binomial. Next question. Give an example of a binomial. What is the meaning of binomial? Having two terms. It should be two terms and the degree should be 6. So you write any two terms. Say 2x to the power 6 plus 5x square or whatever but there should be only two terms not more than two terms because we need binomial and the highest power should be six the degree should be six so it's two terms so this number you can change but don't change the power of this highest power should be six yeah x square you can write x and anything below six so the highest power should be six so two terms and highest power should be six now let's look at the next question is 0 a 0 of the polynomial? That means, what is 0 of a polynomial? If I put 0 here, P of 0. Instead of X, if we put 0 here. So this X, if I put 0, how much am I getting? 2 zeros are 0. 0 minus 6. 0 minus 6 is minus 6. So when you put 0 in place of X, I'm not getting answer 0. So what did you say? 0 is 0 a zero of this polynomial? No. No, zero is not a polynomial. You say no, zero is not a zero of this polynomial because we are not getting answer zero. And I substituted zero, I'm not getting here zero, I'm getting minus six. The value of the polynomial comes out to be minus six. So it is zero is not a zero. And let's see the next question. Same polynomial is three a zero of this polynomial. Is 3 a 0? Let's see if it is 0 or not. So what did we do? Instead of x, instead of x, we'll put 3 and see what is the answer. So wherever x will come, it will become 3. So here x is coming here. So what is the this? 6 minus 6. How much we are getting? 0. So we got the value of this polynomial comes out to be 0 when I substituted 3. That means 3 is this. Since P3 we got 0, that is this. Yes, 3 is a 0 of this polynomial. Okay, let us stop here for now.
in this class, I have just done the basic conception. What do we need to know the different terms related with polynomials? In the next class, I'm going to teach you about how to calculate the zeros of the polynomial. Then, okay then, see you. Thank you.